Hi, this is Summer with Summer's Tips and Stitches, and um, hopefully in the next couple minutes, my daughter will come down and you'll get to see my finished project, which of course was another Adirondack wrap. Because I had that whole mermaid tail scenario going on, I didn't actually make her a new mermaid tail with the mermaid cove. <laughs> So, um, she wanted an Adirondack wrap, and since I was so busy making them, it didn't take me too long. But, so when she comes down, that will be my finished project. She'll just zip down. Um, up until then, though, I'm looking around this mess here. You guys should see this. Look at that. I just have all this stuff. Here's my Amagurumi dolls. I need to make one brown-haired, remember, for my craft show. Uh, these are the rollers I've been using for their necks. Somebody just asked me to make them an Adirondack wrap. So she brought me over the yarn. So I've got that here. And then, even though I am on a yarn timeout, a self-imposed yarn timeout, I saw this mandala cake at my Walmart. Look at this beautiful color. This, my friends, is called Troll. I just love it. So I was thinking about making another wrap, but instead, I was going to find the pattern that the dabbling hook and I think Lacey from Hooked on Owls was doing. They were doing um, a knit along or a crochet along or a mystery whatever. I want to say it's like skipping stones or something. If I find it, I'll put a link in the description. Otherwise, check out the most recent video of dabbling hook because she shows it to you. And I wanna make that in Troll. So that's what I'm gonna do with that. So this video really is telling you my plans. So until I find that pattern, I am going to make these, like dishcloths, there's that one. Here is another one, that one looks pretty nice. And here is the third. Let's see. There it is. And I'm going to make the... Actually, you know what? I feel like that's the same one. Nope, it's not. Um, I'm going to make those. I'm going to make one of them with the little dollops. I'm going to have to use both of them, I'm sure. So I'm going to make one with these. And then my mom bought me this probably like a year ago when the Karen Cotton case had just came out. So I'm going to make one in here. As for the third, I'm still not quite sure. Maybe, hopefully I'll have enough. I didn't really look at how much yarn was needed. Um, if you wanna see these finished already, check out the Canadian Crotcheter. She has a video where she shows her finished dish, dish cloths. She put up the link for these patterns and um, so that's what I'm gonna do probably tonight. I'm probably gonna sit on the couch, chat with my mom, cause she's visiting and crochet these dishcloths. And then when I get my um, bum and gear, I'm gonna pr pr print that pattern from the dabbling hook. Cause I know she made a video today and she showed it, it's so pretty. And um, she's been talking about it for a while. I wanna say it's like skipping stones. I don't know. Um, so yeah, so those are my, my future projects. The dishcloths with cotton, Skipping stones, hopefully using troll with mandala or mandala. And then I'm still kind of waiting for my daughter to come down and show you her video. Here, let me pause and see if she's coming down. So here's another pattern I found, and I'll put a link in the description to this. This was on Ravelry. It was one of their featured, and it's kind of like an Amagurumi doll, but it's a mermaid. And it looks like it's, if you look at the picture carefully, it looks like they made panels and sewed them together. Um, as I've said before, my daughter loves mermaids. Let's see if there's a better picture. Oh, here's one. Here's one with her having her hair long. Um, this was like a featured pattern when you logged into Ravelry. See that? Isn't that nice? So I think I'm gonna make that. The only thing that's a little difficult is that I don't, I don't use this type of thread, loops and threads. I don't use that kind of yarn, so I have to find comparable yarn. So here she is. Here's my daughter wearing the Adirondack wrap I made her in Mermaid Cove. Let's look how big it is. Isn't that nice? Okay, turn on, show them the back, and then wrap yourself in it all warm. 
Now the one thing is you can see I did not color control it. So you have places where the color stopped. But yep, that's it. It's huge for a skinny thing. So if you're a skinny gal, it is a nice big warm blanket type. So that's it. I just finished that. That is my one finished project. We had one and that is my Maddie girl wearing her Mermaid Cove Adirondack wrap. So did, but that did you is, beta that's really about that it. Um, those are the patterns. I'm going to put a link in the description for the dishcloths, the mermaid amigurumi, and I'm going to try to find that skipping stone shawl because I want to make that with the troll. But other than that, that's kind of a quick video. I don't have too much else to say. I'm in the thick of working, well, the first day of the week, Tuesday. I'll work Wednesday, Thursday, and so hopefully through these next few days I'll have something real good to share with you guys on Monday. And also, I have a knit crate coming. But until then, um, let's keep on crocheting. Until then, happy crafting. Bye.